Today, we are bringing the fight to the snipe teams with the Slipnir. Our basic premise here is to stack mana on as many pets as possible so that when we inevitably get sniped, the mana will counter snipe their team. Think of it as sort of mutually assured destruction. Throw in a couple summons and all of a sudden, you have a strict anti-snipe team. Mosquito me, pigeon. Straight up, I'll run it. Don't think I won't. Okay. I'm gonna out myself here. I don't, I genuinely do not know what ostensible means. <laughs> Maybe that's bad. Fantastic mosquito snipe, by the way. Thank you very much. Couldn't have done it without you. Maybe we don't care about the beaver. Maybe we just look for some level ups. I like it. Ooh, you hate to see that one. Alright, level me here. Ox is actually very good. Especially when we sell our pigeon. Straight up, I don't like mosquito. I think I'd rather run this. Level. Sure, that'll work. I think we sell Pigeon next turn, get the Ox cooking a bit. I don't like that little shimmy they did on me. And I especially don't like this giant kangaroo. Hatching chick, how could you? Just kidding, we found a snail. All is well. Alright, we go here, get rid of you. Grab the snail. Obviously, we do something like this. Straight up, I'll run an apple. Don't think I won't. Run an apple on you. We took a tactical end and I think it's paying off. Because I definitely intended to, to lose there. For sure. I mean, straight up, we're definitely not doing a level 3 Basilisk. Can we do this? Ooh. Catching chick? Don't mind if I do. Another one? Oh, baby. So you give 4 health. You give 3-3. Three, three. Enough said. <laughs> I arrest my case, if you will. Now I'd love to get Hercules Beetle level two. We can really scoof, goof, and really goof up on this uh, this ox setup here. I mean, if you insist. I did that backwards. That was my bad. Do we want a lynx? Lynx is probably pretty good. What if we wait on him? Ooh, hello. I mean, straight up, this might even be a don't need it angle here. And we're cooking. Love it. For tier 4, I really wish when you level up Food Dog, it'll buff the level up guys. That would be really nice. Alright, you know what? I think it's time to get rid of Hercules here. I say we run... I think an early skewer is fantastic. I'm not sold on the, on the Lynx, to be honest. So maybe... What if we just double dip on the ox here? Yeah, let's sell you here. We'll have six gold. Gotta check that, make sure you have enough to buy the, the rest of the slots. But since we only have three, it'll hit the, the ox twice, which is, I think is worth it. Now we run it like this. So the ox will trigger twice on our eagle. Ideally, this snapping turtle skewer on the eagle will pay, pay out pretty well. We'll see. Saved us one. 
Oh, that is a fantastic roll. <laughs> that is fantastic. Love it. All right. Give me a hatching chick. That'd be pretty cool. No, nothing. Not feeling the hatching chick. There it is. I think that was worth investing in straight up. I don't an axolotl. Um, I don't think the ox is like long, long term. I think he's been doing great things for us, but he's going to get outclassed here pretty soon. I love it. Oh, dude, this is so solid. I will say, though, the ox triggers twice, which would give an axolotl two hits, assuming that we have it behind the eagle. Or maybe we just give the hatching chick a banana and call it a day. I'm not investing a whole lot in axolotl. Been there, done that, no thank you. It might even be a stingray angle. Yeah, I mean, honestly, let's do it. Flashlight, of course. Get our eagle cooking up. Thank you. I love it. We could scorpion. I don't think we need it. The lynx is really just said, fuck that guy. <laughs> See that guy in the back? Oh, let's just go nuke him. But only him. Alright. Hopefully we get a slipe near here. <laughs> Baby. You can't ring it up any better than that. I'm actually going to keep the stingray around, I think. And I'm going to run something like this. Something a little crazy. I think this is good. Question, does mana count as an ability, as far as pineapple is concerned? Maybe. Oh, dude, that skewer, though. The skewer's doing work out here. Ooh, team spirit is tempting. Especially if we can get hatching chick to three. I'm hoping we can find a Stingray, but that might be a bit of a long shot here. Mana's interesting. Okay. Stingray is going to go. That's just how it's got to be now. Fantastic snipe. Thank you. Okay. I mean, they're really just fodder at this point for the skewers. Those little summons he's got going. Go here. Um, do we want the banana? Yeah, I guess. It couldn't hurt. Well, it could, but it hopefully won't, I guess is a better way to say it. Sleep near has got to get as big as possible as soon as possible. I also realized we're on 9 wins already. Maybe sleep near just 2 OP. Nope, just kidding. Maybe we just lose. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Um, definitely level you. Definitely do this. Then we get another level on the sleep near. This is a huge power spike. I am thoroughly enjoying this. And I mean, the team spirit's probably gonna go, right? Maybe throw a tiger in the mix. Generally a solid pivot. This is our big anti-snipe squad here. The anti-snipe comes from the, <laughs> the sleep near mana. If they snipe us, we snipe you back. <laughs> That's how it works. I mean, that worked pretty well. I think that last turn really pushed it over the edge for us. Okay, roll me. Pigeon. 
provocative jackets. I like it. I like the early draw. And now we just greed the heck out of everything. If we get a win, great. If not, doesn't even matter. That's okay. We ain't sweating it. Alright, give me a level. Huge. Huge. Um... Maybe run a salamander? Let's get a level here. Food dog is definitely the play. And Bigfoot? Sure. Oh yeah. This is exactly what we're hoping for here. Okay, so now we can pivot out here. Switch you around a little bit. Uh, definitely keep him Bigfoot, so I don't mind buffing you up a bit. Beetle, sure. Hold on to you. You two just in case. Rather have them there than not. Didn't need them, even better. Okay, love this, love that. Give me something good, please. I'll hold the cucumber just in case. I'm glad I did. Because you can get a lot of scaling over time with a cucumber. Especially from turn five. Let's just picture. It's roughly going to go out to turn 13 if you do well. That's another 8 health. Just passively for 3 gold. That's pretty good. That's called cost effective right there. Kraken, I don't think I'm interested in. Hmm. I love this. Let's see if we can roll for another one. We did not find one. I think that's okay. Holy Christmas, that is a huge homie. That's what a food dog does to you, I guess. Well, that was an Alchemedes, wasn't it? I don't know where that came from. Roll me. I like a blowfish for now. I think we need a level three of you. I need some levels here. I think that's what we're missing. That's great. All right, it's time to sell our Hercules beetle. Throw in a little stingray action, my favorite. See, I think toy build isn't like sticking around forever kind of thing. Like you're not hard running toy build. But slotting in a stingray feels really strong. Just kind of throw them in every now and again, you know? Mmm, that's not good. <laughs> we need to get ourselves an eagle. That's what we're missing. Level me. Ewer's also pretty good. Maybe it's time to get rid of Food Dog. Throw in a snapping turtle. Blowfish squared. <laughs> Just excess, excessive snipes out here. Okay, our Bigfoot's gonna be huge. Please don't snipe Bigfoot. Rude. I think we're okay. We're at least drawing. <laughs> we'll take it. Alright. Utilize our free rerolls, of course. Maybe we track a lionfish here. Is that ever the play? Let's try it. Get some early scaling going into you. I don't know if early really counts, but we're getting scaling. I think it's a little late to get the level 3 Bigfoot, at least right now.
He got rid of my cucumber. Not cool. There's the eagle we've been looking for. Um, roll me. <laughs> that is tempting. I, I just think that's too much. Right, throw in the eagle. God, I knew it. As soon as I bought it, there's gonna be a manta ray. Hold on to you. I'd like to get this hatching chick leveled. I'm like rolling more than I otherwise would, I think. Specifically for hatching chick. Huge. <laughs> the tiger was a nice little addition there. Okay, maybe we toss the blowfish, get another toy online, and really look for this hatching chick here. Team Spirit is huge. I'll honestly just throw him in right now. There's our sleep near we're looking for. Okay. We're not quite there. But we're getting there. Hey, honestly, I think we're okay. I'm not too worried about this. Just kidding. What happened to our... <laughs> Aren't we supposed to have a skewer or something? No, that guy's been dead for a while. Never mind. Maybe we wait on the sleep near? Might be a little early for him. Hmm. I think we're rolling here. Dude, we're not getting anything out here. Alright, <laughs> it's come full circle. I guess we do this. Start boosting the sleep near a bit. But yeah, not having hatching chick level 3 by now is really bad. Probably game losing bad. Okay. We haven't even found chocolate. That's the crazy part. There's one. Okay. Finally. It might be too late though. I'm thinking it is. We'll see. See what we can find here. I mean, we got some good options here, but it's just not enough. We scaled too late. Some skulking gibbons. I didn't do Jack Dilly now, did it? Okay. Looking for some levels here. Okay. A lot of rocks being created here. Desync error. Interesting. Okay, so we'll get the pigeon, sell it, buff up our cow a little bit. Cow? Why did I say cow? It's an ox. They are very different. Level me, sell me. Trade up, let's food dog. we do this? Let me throw you in the back as a little backup.
<laughs> Off by one. Here looks good. Don't know if I like the spider. I like this though. And I like this. We just had a little bit better attack on these guys. We'd be cooking. Level you, level you. What do we got to work with here? Whirl, maybe? Maybe, maybe. I feel like Kraken is the way to do it, though. Turn to you. I don't think we need a level 3 ox. I'd consider a hatching chick. As usual. A lot of snails you got there, buddy. Big level. We go here. There to you, throw in a hatching chick. We keeping food dog around? If we throw an axe, ugh, <laughs> voice crack. What if we throw in an axolotl? Right, and then we go, there to you. And then we need a summon. Any summons out here? We got summon counters. Does that count? An eagle. We need an eagle. Well, at least we'll be getting the 1 1, in theory. Love it. Go here, straight up. No, that'd be silly. Or would it? We do like this, maybe? Ooh, okay. It might be a snapping turtle angle. We're getting this ox huge. Ox is cooking. And yes, the skewer isn't actually being used right now, but I think that's okay. We can always pivot around if we need to. We want a stingray. I don't think so. Do you want a hatching chick? Hmm. We ever run an eagle here? Seems pretty good. Let's try it. Full send. We do now, however, have the axolotl in the back, which is generally not good. The cockatrice actually did something? Has this ever been done before? guy's insane. Why are you running a cockatrice? That's got to be the worst thing ever invented. Hold on to you. 
Okay. I think it's time. Get rid of you. Throw this guy in. We're gonna like this. We'll throw in a Puma next turn. Get a giant octopus cooking. Big snipes. Love it. And now we get rid of the eagle. Throw in a puma. Give you pancakes. Huge. Huge er. Absolutely enormous. Next turn we're gonna pop off out here. Fine, we take the draw. Just more time to make the build work. Here to you, Team Spirit. Grab you. Still not finding Sleipnir. Just kidding. <laughs> I found him. We can do a little buy sell. A little added some some. And then I think we get Team Spirit cooking here. Help augment our build a little bit. These are good snipes. I love it. Okay, we're rolling. We need levels. That's all we need right now. Come on. That's huge. That means we can start getting you cooking a little bit. I think that worked out better for us, weirdly enough, with that donkey. I'm not sure exactly how, but it felt pretty, pretty good for us here. We're looking for levels. If it ain't levels or chocolate, I don't want it. Gotta get this sleep near cooking. Okay. Oh, off by two, that hurts. Roll me. Octopus. Maybe just grab some more pancakes. Just kidding. Um let's go here. I'm down to greed. Get some extra scaling going if we need it. This is how we secure the 10 bag. Okay, it didn't actually matter, I guess. We'll take it. <laughs> and now, we're popping off. Dude, chocolate there would have been huge. Um, I wanna get the sleep near level three. If we lose this one, I'd actually be kind of happy. Because we, we just haven't shown off the slip near yet. I mean, 11 man is no, no joke, right? Don't get me wrong. It's still pretty good. <laughs> See, without the slip near, the anti snipes. We would never have won that. Okay. Quick synopsis. Let's break it down. Is it a fantastic build? Not the best. You gotta you gotta invest a lot, okay? When you get it working, does it work? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Was this kinda just a hatching chick team spirit? No. Maybe a little, but we got it working. I'm happy with that. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one.